This is one of the Southern Hemisphere's must-see garden shows, set in New Zealand's garden city, Christchurch. Hagley Park is an amazing venue, stunning parklands on the edge of the city, making it the ideal location for some of the world's great garden designers to show off. The award-winning gardens are just spectacular, and I've got to tell you, this has got to be the best show I've ever seen put on for Ellerslie. So it's not just a recovery from the earthquake, this is testament to just how resilient the people of Christchurch are, and what a great show this one is. The highlights for me? Well, the reclaimed space garden is the ultimate in modern courtyards, with a picture frame and an amazing sculptural centrepiece, which was the roof beam of a school that burnt down, but offers the shape of a heart. Serene is one of my favourites, and it's the use of plants in this traditional, stylish garden that focuses on trees and shrubs to provide year-round interest with different colours, textures and shape. There are even gardens from other exhibitions here, including The Last Australian Garden, designed by Scott Leung, Miles Broad and Rick Eckersley, which won gold at the Singapore International Flower Show and depicts a ravaged Australian landscape suffering environmental disruption because people lost touch with nature. The inspiration behind this garden was climate change uh, two, two and a half years ago. Uh, it was the big element that everyone was talking about, the drought in Victoria, you know, and now we've got floods in, yeah. <laughs> in Australia as well as in New South Wales and Queensland. But uh, we actually wanted to give people an experience in this garden, create lots of movement and, and uh, really immerse people in, in the scene. Uh, so we've actually used local vegetation, which shows all the tough conditions that can cope with any form of climate change. Uh, and we've got the lilies that represent the exotic plants that require lots of maintenance, water, high, nu high nutrient use, and they get uptaken by the tornado. And, and all you'll be left with is, is the local plants, yep. as well as you know, the farm equipment, which can be recycled and used as well, even, even after it's been destructed. Casa de Vidro is something very special. And if you want to put a glass house in your backyard, you might want to think about this concept glass house. Although the $250,000 price tag might not suit your budget. But I've got to tell you, if you put it in the backyard, it'd certainly impress your friends. The use of glass here adds dimension to the visual aspect of the garden's view. And the glass house is floating on a blue meadow whilst the site is wrapped in a gem-like ribbon. Brilliant. This event encourages councils to beautify the environment they manage and each year councils exhibit in the Zealandian National Flowerbed Competition. This is the Christchurch Airport's demonstration of the new terminal building and how it's going to look. Again, incredibly clever and informative too. Max's pipe dream follows the real life experiences of Max Smith, a project engineer on the Upper Waitaki hydroelectric power scheme. This is really different depicting the boathouse that Max constructed alongside the man-made lake he built next to his home. This won the overall award at this year's event and demonstrates just how creative landscapes can be in telling a story. With a significant amount of infrastructure damage, Christchurch developed the pop-up shop and mall. And this exhibit shows the same concept with a pop-up garden instead. The Fresh Start Garden by multi-award winning designer Dan Rutherford is symbolic of the recent history of Christchurch and utilises many recycled materials to present an artistic garden experience. I come from Christchurch, I've lived here all of my life and I really wanted to give something back to the city that's, that's supported me so well through my life and, uh, and I, I put a whole year into thinking about how to make that happen and I ended up taking a time lapse from my veranda looking out across the city and I've condensed a whole day into three minutes and so that represents the way that we've had a lifetime of pain and anguish and loss of friends and loss of buildings and we've condensed that whole lifetime of those experiences into one year and so I've put into those parts of the day various different elements that represent our emotive state. So there's little wee lights that represent the people who have come from all over the world, including Australia, to help us in our time of need. And during those dark times for us, they shine so brightly. And then the rain falls and it's like our tears of loss. And we feel that sort of sense of release is when you have a good cry and you get that pain off your chest. And it kind of feeds our roots as well. We kind of, so we can get going and start to grow again. And, uh, and the new day comes and we have a fresh start and new growth and we'll be ready to go. 
Ben Hoyle's garden is truly amazing, with his outdoor room sitting atop a floating water lily. The water is reflective, and this was achieved by cleverly using coffee to make the water black. The inspiration here for me was really, I guess, trying to offer an inspired perspective of, of what Christchurch could look like in the future. And it was, I guess it's a little bit whimsical. It's this idea of actually um, getting off so-called terra firma mm -hmm. and actually literally floating away. And so I had this idea of this sort of flower, this water lily sitting there on the water. And then I thought, well, how else can we sort of add this sense of theatre? Because that's what often happens with Shogun. Do you want that? So I thought, well, it's a bit like, she loves me, she loves me not, you know. And let's cast some of those petals aside into the water and, and plant gardens in those. And that whole idea of love me, love me not is, I guess, the way Cantabrians really love this place where they live, but they hate the way that it's been changing so quickly. Um, and so it's trying to express that also um, within the space. El Temp de Bloom is a B-movie set garden that utilises some really unusual plants quite cleverly. It's also got some other props that are a bit different too. Human skeletons, skulls and even blood squirting walls. 